some eyeball ease. And <clears throat> what you going to need for this fun DIY. I hate my hair right now. I'm so sorry. I hate my hair. Okay. But what you're going to need for this DIY is red yarn. It doesn't matter the type. It just has to be red, you know. And then you're going to need your red paint. Oh, the lighting said not today. The red paint. Your black paint. And some white. Just like me. No. <laughs> oh, and you're also going to need some scissors. We don't use safety scissors here because, like, you know. So, yeah. And then you're going to need a brush that you can, like, use as all-purpose. I think I got this one stuck when I used it with the glue, which is what also you're going to need. But, oh, crap, did I? Okay, tip. Um, if you're going to use your brush for glue because you're like, this is cheap and I don't care, um... Don't stick it in tinfoil and let it sit. You would think that would be a word to the wise. Welcome. I'm not very wise. So, you know. All right. At the dollar store. Hashtag mouth sponsor. If I was, how much would I make? Like 50 cents? It's worth that. All right. So these are just your typical like ping pong eyeballs. So, if you want to make cool projects while also playing beer pong, I got you. Because I know that's what you're actually using this for. I'm not going to lie. Alright, so your first step is going to be to cut your yarn, move your eyeball. Alright, so when you cut your yarn, you're going to like take it apart. So that way there's just strands, and yeah, it will not, it's fine, it's yarn. Because guess what, we're stronger than yarn. We can pull it. Alright, I don't mind knots and clumps because it's supposed to just look like veins and all disgusting and stuff. So I don't mind it, I really don't. So now that that's all done, you should have like about a handful of like spaghetti looking guts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take your designated glue brush now because you decided that was smart and some craft glue, which I actually found out this is sick. You can buy this stuff at like Dollar General and the Dollar Store. And this stuff is like legit. This stuff is good. So also cheap hack because that's what we do here because we're poor. <laughs> Alright. So what you're going to do is on the back right near where it says like the logo and stuff. Just on the back bumpy part where it's all clear and stuff. You're going to glue it all around and then stick it. It's going to get really messy. So... This should be fun. <laughs> oh my god okay 
belt. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to look about like that. Hopefully yours looks a little bit better, but you know, practice. So yeah, it's going to look like that. And now we just wait for it to dry. Son of a bitch. Okay. Don't touch it. <laughs> because you're going to do what I did now. And you're going to give yourself in a whole mess of trouble with the yarn and the glue. Because those don't really mix, let's be honest. I just didn't want to use hot glue because, like, I don't know, hot glue can sometimes look ugly. Like, I want this to look cute. I'm so weird. All right. Ah! Fuck. Okay, well, if you end up in this situation... Um, just take some more glue, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> and just roll with it. This is looking like I just jizz glue all over this eye. Oh, my God, it's in the front. No! Oh, fuck. Fuck, okay. Well, every artist makes mistakes. <laughs> Did you know that? Because I didn't. Alright, so now we're just going to not touch that and let it dry. And in case you're wondering why I have my phone here, it's to record my voice. <laughs> I'm using it as a voice recorder. So that way, like, I can do this, like, double time, you know? Like, in real time, you can hear me and this will sync and stuff. So, yeet. All right, well, by the time you see me with the magic of editing, this will be dry and we'll be able to move on with our lives. Eh, all right, so I'm back. <laughs> um, I didn't really let this fully dry, which you probably should, but it was taking forever. So normally you would let it at least fully dry but because i don't really care if the glue gets that like bloody looking color that doesn't bother me i think that's actually kind of cool and also too if glue gets on this it makes it more stiffer so <clears throat> we're gonna take our red paint we use acrylic here everything we use is like washable so because what i'm about to do Maybe orthodox to some people, but I don't know. I like using my my fingers. If you don't, that's fine. You know, this is just how I work. So I would take off any jewelry you have. Make sure your mitts are empty. Empty mitts. All right. And now we're going to take our black. Dab it. Oh, I'm covering the fucking color. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're going to dab it on the plate. Or on the table or whatever. Things are about to get messy. Um, I do not want to get paint in my hair. Because that sounds like a bitch to get out. Alright. So. We're going to take this. You can make one with like tin foil just wrapped around your paintbrush and smushed it to make it look like one of those palette things that you see in all like the whole ooh sensory videos where it's like oh isn't this nice and just mix your um just use this to mix your uh your red and black paint I'm gonna do that really quick for you all right now that we got that all mixed to the point where it looks like that, we're going to go in with our fingers and we're just going to coat all of this with glue, this paint, and go crazy. After that, you're going to go wash your hands because you don't want to touch anything with paint on them. And yeah, you're just gonna let this sit for a hot minute to dry. Um, I don't know if you can see what it looks like, but it looks really gross here. Maybe. 
and I just pull it up from here. So yeah, it's going to look like that. It's okay if you get stuff on here. Like I said, it washes off with soap and water. I'll tell you how to fix that when we get there, when it's all dry. But until then, we just sit and let it dry.